I love the spec of color. Blake Teen and I are in the new 2021 Rolls Royce Cullen, and this is really beautiful. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually test the new Spirit of Ecstasy now. Um, okay, so we're going to go put it up now. Alright everybody, so before we get to today's video, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Built Bar. Built Bar is truly a standout among protein bars. With its exceptional nutrition profile and so many delicious flavors, Built Bar is the favorite protein bar of many discerning fitness trainers, fitness enthusiasts alike, and then everyday people like you and me. Every protein bar I've ever had tastes like a protein bar. Doesn't matter the flavor. These are the exception, and my goodness are they good. They have over 65,000 incredible reviews on their products. The macros on these things are great. 19 grams of protein, six grams of fiber, only 130 calories. You know guys, when we're out and about and making content for you guys, that's only part of the whole Savage Garage thing. Like there's also a lot of desk work involved. I spend a lot of time in front of the computer editing and making our videos. Usually I have like a bowl of chips or like something that I'm eating just like to grab for food. This has been a life changer for me because instead of just eating garbage all the time, I have something that's a snack and is filling and actually isn't bad for me. Actually healthy. It's the perfect snack for any routine. And they've got a ton of different options. I implore you, go click the link in the description. Take a look at all the different options they have on their website of things you can get from them. My favorite is the mint brownie one because it actually tastes like a brownie, which is a very hard thing for bars to accurately replicate. Go click the special link in the description box and use our code SG20. Put that in at checkout and you'll have an amazing discount. You're gonna love Built Bars. So guys, with all that being said, check our link in the description down below. Get yourself a Built Bar set today. Whether you get the bars or any other other products, you're not gonna be disappointed. See you guys later. Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Savage Garage. We are at Sterling, Lamborghini, Rolls Royce, McLaren, and what used to be Mini Cooper. <laughs> but that's now across the street at BMW. But we are here with Tina. Tina's gonna show us this fabulous Cullinan Black Badge. We're gonna go drive one. We have basically the same exact version, a little different interior outside. And then we're gonna drive the new Ghost. So this is the 2021, this is the 2021. 2021. 2021. Calling in black badge. You know what this reminds me of? Let's Our Bentley. Speed the interior. The interior. That's why. I'm looking at it like yeah, it's, it's like it's a familiar look. It's I'm that it's, it. like, it's, it's that so burgundy cool. carpet. Yeah. Same with the Bentley. Look at the headliner, Jimbo. Go in the back of this. Place. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh, and it has the stars. See, see, this is as ridiculous as it is. This is why every time someone gets in your race, they're like, oh, no star. I, I don't disagree, but understand we're in like inside of a dealership right now. I know it makes it look perfect. It does. It makes it look absolutely perfect. In and the then daylight, you can barely see this. I, and not only that, but how long are you gonna stare at it? It doesn't do anything. The one that has the shooting stars and all that is really cool. So this is a Rolls Royce thing for me. 
I'm, I, I'm like of the old school Caddyshack Rolls Royce feel. I always like that. I always like the big chrome grills and mm -hmm. the, yeah. the, the actual stylish gaudiness of That's Rolls Royce. That's the only chrome that you've liked at all. Too. At all, at all. I don't like it anywhere else. Yeah. Um, unless I have like a muscle car or something like that. It's different. But yeah, this is like one of those things where this has carbon in it. I would never option this with carbon. Carbon to me is, you know, for, for a, a race car type feel or some supercar, hypercar, whatever. And to me, I'd want this more luxurious, like high-end veneers and things like that, where I think I prefer the stock Cullinan versus the Black Badge. And I would tune my Cullinan to be a Black Badge killer. That's what I would do. All right, let's, now we're going to go in the back bench. Yeah, it's interesting. Your, uh, for instance, like your taste in rolls is uh, an excellent example of, um, you know, one of the things that Rolls-Royce does now, which is very cool, which is, you know, many years ago. It was they, all chrome. It was all chrome, right. black interior. Maybe if you wanted the burgundy, they had it. But, you know, now if somebody wants a yellow Rolls-Royce interior that has black accents and pink floors, right. you can have that, which is cool. You're Nothing beats massage. better Rolls Royce seats, man. They're so comfortable. Ooh, wait, what's that? Is that the one inside? That's for the ghost. Wow, that's a cooler looking key though. Can I get mine in the Savage Orange? Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> you wanna go for a ride? Let's go for a ride. Let's find a scoot over. <laughs> That's nice. We have no idea what the RPMs are because this car does not have a tachometer. It has a power reserve, as you can see. It gives you, so right now I'm with my the foot off the throttle. I'm at 100%, but if I step on it fully, that's full power, zero, you can see. And it does boogie. Is that all wheel drive? Mm -hmm. This is rear wheel, it's gonna spin. No, that's all wheel. That's oh, all wheel? The new one is all wheel. All wheel steering, too. <laughs> you ready? We'll pile, I'll show you the speed difference. All right, ready? Three, two, two one. one. Go. <laughs> if I were even to test drive that, it would have to be a completely different spec because it's, it's not to say that I'm, I'm test driving the car. I know the car is going to drive wonderfully. I would want to test drive the spec that I wanted it. Where this is like, I love this spec. I would prefer this in the ceramic gray, that gray. Mm -hmm. No, it's not that. <laughs> yeah, <we're good. laughs> oh, hold on. No. <laughs> you know what I'd love to do? I'd love to spec a colony. Mm -hmm. So why don't we do that next time? Yeah. Come and spec our colony. I, I loved the Cullen and Black Badge. I, I've heard you said you're more traditional, I, you like to have... I a, love the Cullen and Black Badge. If it was specced out the way I would do it, I would do a blacked out, black on black. Because I, I don't want the contrast of the black grill mm -hmm. on, say, like a ceramic gray. Mm -hmm. I'd, want, I'd want a black with a black and orange combination to your, some of this orange you showed me mm -hmm. like that bright, Mandarin. yeah we actually have it's a savage -y orange here. yeah without a doubt the just put the orange. sgs right in the low in the headrest mm -hmm. kind of like the hummer oh that'd be cool yeah 
We had one that was black and orange interior. So I'd want, I I'd want it like my Wraith, mm -hmm. where the dominant color is black with the obviously with the orange With white accent. as well? No, with, Not that, a with the orange accents. Well, I'd love to see a Cullen in black and panda. That would be cool too. So if you notice the ghost that we drove, has black it has a panda but with orange accents the right. stitching and the piping and, but it's more you know, cream it's more a cream yeah. it's not white it's not see i like white i like if i were to do it arctic white. i would do the you know the arctic white yeah with, with, black and with the black and seats accents. the black base seats and the orange or well, the orange or white i think the orange looks good though this yeah, is i a, like the veneer this style. is really yeah. nice but this is, I believe, this is a special request for. That's, I mean, that's stunning. It's beautiful. Right. Like orange, it's, oh black. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Dark amber. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. It shimmers. It's, mm -hmm. it's really cool. But I could spec it in a normal Cullinan, too. Yeah, absolutely. Because I would want, what what on the uh, on the black badges, can you spec the interiors, too? You can. There are some options. But people would you want you to get the carbon, carbon though. Yeah. I mean, the carbon is is a standard. Yeah, but the carbon's everywhere. That's the carbon's so common. Honestly, I liked the Ghost, but the Ghost is again too narrow for me as a car. I think if I'm going to be in a Rolls, I want to be in that you know really wide, luxurious Phantom. The Cullinan even has that. My Wraith has that. Um, the proud long nose. Right. Even with the extended wheelbase. It's really nice. You get a lot of room, mm -hmm. but it's not it's not quite the feel of the, it's not the feel of the Phantom and the Cullinan. The Cullinan is without a doubt the Black Badge is a very beautiful car. It drives wonderfully. Um, it's fast. It's you know it's it's got all of its, it's stuff. Proud to be a boat. Yeah, yeah, and you know, and it it would take some you know Randy mods pretty well. Absolutely. I still think we should straight pipe it. Dude, I've been telling you to straight pipe your raid since you got it. In no. fact, it's in the video. I know. It's in the I video know. of you picking it up and they we're saying to, like, straight pipe. Straight pipe <laughs> we don't even need to cut it, just like mufflers. Just We'll just drop it for the video and then put it back on. Right before the lease is up. Um, we'll bring it back. <laughs> but anyway, I think, the, um, I think from a standpoint of, of next roles for me would either be the Phantom or the Cullinan. I'm leaning toward the Cullinan just because of the fact that the Phantom is a car you really get driven in. Mm -hmm. The Cullinan, it can be both. You kind of get away with both. Mm -hmm. um, the Wraith is not. The Wraith is you're basically sitting in the, you know, in the driver's seat the whole way. The new Wraith is coming out when? This is not announced yet. So that would mean but probably, it's well, since the Ghost has come out, probably the within a year, goes, probably 2021. Probably within a year we start hearing about it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Probably. So I would imagine it's going to take a lot of the styling cues from the ghost and from the from the re I'm, yeah. I'm absolutely uh, expecting to have the same technology in the rape when it comes yeah. to the effortless doors, which is a really new and a game changer in terms of uh, opening the doors when you're getting out of a Rolls Royce. Oh yeah, because the doors weigh about seven thousand pounds each. So, so I'm, yeah, I'm have hoping you, and praying. So that would make that car how many pounds, Jimbo? Forty-five thousand pounds. Forty-five thousand. The race, the curve. It's not allowed. In is that dry areas. weight or with fluids? I'm just curious. You're not allowed to go over certain bridges. Thank you again for today, Tina. Appreciate everything. Thank you, Jimbo. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Blake. Stay savage, everybody. Yeah.